Every once in a while, something comes along that completely changes the way I practice, learn, and even create. No, this video is not sponsored, but that's just how excited I am about this. Seamlessly remove and or isolate not only vocals, but other instruments as well from any song. You don't remember, you don't remember. Why don't you remember my name? Before you partake in this super simple process, you need to figure out a way to get your song into file form. So in today's streaming world, uh, that can be a little bit of a workaround. I just honestly, I play the song that I want to work with straight off my phone into my DAW. You can do lossless and it, it works fine. There's ripping and downloading software and stuff like that out there, but I don't know. To demonstrate this, I have imported Radiohead's Paranoid Android straight into Logic and used the cool Smart Tempo feature so that the click, the session, and everything is set up exactly to the tempo of the track I have imported. First, I'll show you some of the ways I've been using this and how good it sounds, and then I'll show you how to do it. Super simple. My most common application is to simply mute the vocals And they're gone! Or turning them down and practicing over a particular part. Because it's helpful to have the vocals lower but not out while I'm learning a particular melody line. And if I really want to hear the details of a line, but because of the way the song was originally mixed, I can't quite pick them out. Like this section. Against the wall. I can hear those details like I never could before. Because I can go back and forth between the instrumental the and the soloed out version of the vocals. Against the wall. The wall, the wall, the wall, the wall. And experiment with my own voice to get something that I like based on the inspiration I gather from the vocalist. I love that I can toggle back and forth. That's something that hasn't really been as easy to do with the other methods I've used. Now you hear all the harmonies and details there. It was smart enough to grab all those. Listen to what happens when you mute them, though. It was smart enough to get rid of things well, even with all those layers, too. not 100% perfect, there's a few artifacts, but by the time you've added your own vocals over this, nobody will know. Maybe not even you. For those who do remixes, having the drums and other instruments isolated out so that you can do different things with them, it's really high quality removal. Amazing. You totally use that in a loop. And then for me doing my one take performances or even just practicing them, Mind blown. Once you're in Logic Pro 11.01, .01, follow this procedure. Right click on the region. Go to processing. Go to stem splitter. Then you could just do vocals or you could separate all of them out. Why not? Hit split. And just like that, we have stems. We have the isolated vocals, we have the drums, we have the bass, and we have guitars and synths and other things like that. This is just, having used so many other tools over time that are very good, the fact that this is built in to the DAW I use 
it is just, I am so excited. This changes so much about how I work. Now, for those of you who aren't on a Mac or don't have Logic Pro, there are lots of other tools that do a great job. VocalRemover.org gives you several free removals. <laughs> Uh, there's lots of great karaoke channels out there that I have used religiously on this channel. CC Karaoke being one of the main ones. And programs like Ripex do a great job of this too. The thing that got me so excited about this is the integration with a tool that I already use. Thank you, Logic, and the team at Logic for putting this in the DAW. Check out this video for all non-Logic users. And if you'd like help finding out what your voice can really do, learning how to practice, learning how to feel out the different possibilities with your singing or screaming, click the link below in the pinned comment or video description and join my free voice course. We'll see you for more.